In this video, we'll look at how to create a data aware master detail report using the Web Report Designer. To create and customize reports, users must be granted permission. One way is by adding them to the Document Creators user group that provides full access to documents and their categories. I've already prepared a data model, Northwind, and it has two tables, categories and products. To create a new report, switch to the document screen and click Add Report. This opens the Web Report Designer with an empty report. The report layout is divided into three default bands, top margin, detail, and bottom margin. They provide a space to put different controls on. Let's bind it to some data. To create a new data source, click the main menu button and select Add SQL Data Source. On the first page of the data source wizard, select a data model and click Next. On the following page, you can choose which tables, views, and or stored procedures to add to the data source. Select the Categories and Products tables. You can also create a custom query by clicking the plus button for the queries category. The Query Builder allows you to join multiple tables as well as perform various data shaping operations. On the next page, define the master detail relationship between queries by specifying their corresponding key fields. Click the plus button next to the master query, choose the detail query, and specify the relationship condition. Then click Finish. The report's data source and data member settings are now set. The field list panel displays the hierarchy of the data source. Now let's create a master report. Drag and drop the category name and description items from the field list onto the detail band. This creates new label controls bound to the corresponding fields. Resize these controls as needed. You can also select multiple controls by using Control or Shift. Drop the picture data field onto the detail band to add a picture box control. Adjust the font options of the created labels in the Appearance category of the Properties panel. For the Picture box, set the Sizing property to Zoom Image to proportionally resize the image within the control. The Master Report is ready. Click Preview to check out the document. Now let's build the Detail Report. To display data from a nested table, add a detail report and construct its layout. Select a report, switch to the Properties panel, and click Insert Detail Report Band. Specify the data source option and set the data member property to the name of the master detail relationship. In the field list, expand the node corresponding to the master detail relationship. Click the required data while holding down the control key and drop them onto the detail band of the detail report. This creates a table with cells bound to the corresponding data fields. To display static headers for these fields, add the group header by selecting the detail report and clicking Insert Group Header Band in the Properties panel. Drop the table control from the toolbox onto the added band. Double click Table Cells and enter the required text. For these captions, make the font bold. Select the cell bound to the Unit Price field and click the ellipsis button for the Format String property. In the editor, select the Currency format. For specific cells, change their text alignment. To always print master and detail report content on the same page, select the Master Reports Detail Band and enable the Keep Together with Detail Reports option. And let's switch to Print Preview to take a look. Next, add a parameter to a report and filter data based on a parameter value selected in Print Preview. To provide values for the report parameter, add another data source containing the Categories query. Switch to the field list and click the plus button for the parameters node. 
Click the Edit button for the created parameter to expand the property list. Give the parameter a name to use in the filter expression and description to display in the print preview. Make sure that you've properly set the type property. Set the Lookup Settings Type property to Dynamic List to supply parameter values from a dedicated data source. Choose the target data source, specify the data member, and set the display member and value member properties to the same category name data field. Then, access a data source providing data for a report and click the Edit Query button for the Categories query. In the Data Source Wizard page, click the Run Query Builder button. In the Query Builder, click the Ellipsis button for the filter property. In the Filter Editor, construct an expression in which the category name data field is compared to a query parameter value. Expand the drop-down menu for a value placeholder and select Parameter. This converts the value placeholder into a parameter placeholder. Click this placeholder and select Create New Parameter. In the Dedicated Editor, specify the query parameter name. Save the filter condition, close the Query Builder, and click Next. On the following page, map the created query parameter to the report parameter. Expand the drop down list for the parameter's type property and select Expression. Click the ellipsis button for the value property and specify the report parameter in the expression editor. And let's switch to Print Preview to take a look. Select a required category in the Parameters Lookup Editor, click the Submit button to pass the corresponding value to the filter expression, and generate the document. Make sure to check out the video on how to pass report parameters to a scheduled report. You can see it at this link. To save the created report, click the Save button in the main menu. Name the report, select an existing category, or create a new one, and type the revision comment. To create and modify reports, you can also use the desktop report designer that's shipped with our report server. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our report server, check out the documentation on our website or watch more videos from our playlist. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.